So we've gone through evaluating, or how to evaluate this piecewise function, again, a function made up of two or more equations that we see here. It's the same equation that we've been working with. Now it's time to get to graphing. To graph a piecewise function, we're really going to draw both of our functions and erase the part that we don't need. So, addressing my first function, I have 1 half x plus 3 halves. The first thing I'm going to do is simply draw the line of that equation. Okay? So, doing a quick graph, that's in slope-intercept form. We can treat it like y is equal to 1 half x plus 3 halves. And so quick graphing of this starts me off at a positive 3 halves right here. And I have a slope of 1 half, which means for every 1 I go vertically, I go 1, 2 horizontally. Up 1 over 2, which gives me this graph here. It's also, if we move just 1 to the right, we move 1 half up. So here we are with our line. Okay. And we are going to be running through these points here. Here's our first equation, 1 half x plus 3 halves. Now what we need to take into consideration is on what domain or on what values of x are we defined. For us, we are only defined if x is less than or equal to a positive 1. So what I'm going to do is add that positive 1 on my x, this tick mark right here, I'm going to go up vertically to, to the line, and I'm going to make a solid point, which indicates for me where x is less than or equal to that positive 1. Everything beyond, or everything to the right, everything greater than where x is 1, we are simply going to erase. There's the first step. In the second step, we're simply going to graph our second function, only this time we're going to also be erasing after x is greater than a positive 1. So everything that is greater than a positive 1 on the x-axis, so from here on, on the x-axis will be defined, it will be graphed, whereas everything less than that, or to the left of that, will not be defined. Starting my quick graph here. I've got the opposite of x plus 3. So I'm going to start at my positive 1, 2, 3. And my slope is at the opposite of x. Or as I move 1 to the right, I move 1 down. What do you know? We overlap on this one. And if we move 1 more to the right, we move 1 more down. Right now I've got 3 points which I can graph this line that runs through these points. Okay. We're just going to look about like this. So again, our blue line is our bottom function, the opposite of x, plus 3. But we have too much graph right now because x is, our function is only this equation if x is, left, is greater than a positive 1. So now I am defined at all points where x is greater than 1 and anything less than 1 I will erase. So, that's that right there. I'm drawing my graph. And there we have it. The piecewise function graph of where f of x is equal to 1 half x 
plus 3 halves, shown here in white, if x is less than or equal to 1, or x is left of 1, and including 1, and the opposite of x plus 3, a negative 1 slope here reflected, and everything is where x is greater than 